Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Zero Celebrations. Thank you so much for joining me again. Yesterday I spoke a little bit about choosing wedding readings for your event um, or if you are going to be officiating or speaking at a friend or family member's ceremony just some different ideas about how to choose wedding readings and some titles and authors, etc. Today, I want to get a little bit more specific with you, though. So if you're tasked with choosing a wedding reading for your friend or family member's ceremony, or if you're actually the officiant and are tasked with selecting readings, there's some really great questions that you can ask of the couple. And again, don't be shy about asking questions. This is their day. And rather than assuming, it's a good idea to clarify if the couple wants something specific in their wedding. So um, people tend to go more towards religious or Shakespeare or very serious readings when they first start to look. But if you actually check in with the couple, that might not be what they're looking for. So clarify with them, would they like a spiritual reading included in their ceremony? Is there time for two different readings if you're the officiant? Do they have that time where that maybe one could be romantic and sweet and one could be funny or another one could have that spiritual element to it? Um, so when you start talking with them, find out what are they looking for from their reading? Do they want something light and fun? Do they want something with that sweetness and that awe oh, factor? Or do they want something more spiritual but not necessarily religious? Or do they want that traditional reading from Corinthians? Love is patient. Love is kind. They want something from Peter or Ephesians. They might already know what they want, and if you're reading at their wedding, it's important for you to know that that is what they want you to do. So always clarify. Um, if you're going to be doing a reading and they say, the ball is in your court, do whatever you want, still ask a few questions. Your best friend may have some hobbies with their significant other that you're not aware of. They might be Game of Thrones fans or watch The Office all the time or, um, oh gosh, what's that other show that just went off the air with Sheldon? I can't think of it. If you know the name of it, please go ahead and write it in the comments and you can call me a fool if you like because I can not think of it. Third Rock from the Sun comes to mind, but I know that's not it. Um that's an old, old, old show. I'm dating myself. Anywho, so if you're choosing readings for someone's wedding, let's get back to this. Let's say you want a funny wedding reading, okay? You can Google funny wedding readings, and you'll come up with a lot of different things. Um, but if you really hone in on the personality of the couple, funny wedding readings about hiking, funny wedding readings about dogs, how falling in love is like to owning a dog by Taylor Malley. I mentioned yesterday, that's a really fun one. Um, he never leaves the seat up by Pam Ayers. Yes, I'll marry you, my dear, by Pam Ayers. Also, those are funny wedding readings. There's a lot of stuff out there, but don't limit yourself to actual poems or readings. You can use movies, music, Broadway shows, etc., as the basis for readings. So let's say you're working with somebody or doing a reading for somebody who just absolutely loves um, like more gospel music or country or Christian music, etc., but doesn't necessarily want a Bible reading. Um, I Will Bi Be Here by Stephen Curtis Chapman is gorgeous, and you can actually use that as a wedding reading. What I do suggest when you use a song is not necessarily using one that you're extremely familiar with. If you do that, you might find yourself singing, sing speaking, I guess you would call it, um, the lyrics instead of delivering them with more of the tone of a wedding ring. For instance, when I first started officiating, there was a couple that asked me to read The Time of My Life by Dirty Dancing. Everyone there knew that they loved that song. However, they also kind of started singing along to it. It was so popular. So many people knew it. So if you're familiar with the song, kind of goes, I've had the time of my life and I've never felt this way before. Oh, I swear 
it's the truth and i owe it all to you okay so if you're familiar with this song it's already in your head right if you try to speak it you might find yourself speaking in the rhythm that you would sing it in and then it doesn't sound so natural so i'll show you the difference i've had the time of my life and i've never felt this way before i swear it's the truth and I owe it all to you versus just saying it like you would normally speak it in a conversation. I've had the time of my life and I have never felt this way before. I swear it's the truth. Okay. So the inflections are completely different when you're doing it as a song and can come across as sing songy. So I suggest, let's say they absolutely love Queen or Bon Jovi or Sheryl Crow um, Milan, Miranda Lambert, Gwen Stefani, Faith Evans, P. Diddy, if they're into the hip hop, if they're into rock, if they're into, um, more instrumental music, you're going to be out of luck with that one. Cause then you don't have lyrics to really work with there. Um, but just getting a basis for what they enjoy musically, you can find wedding readings. Um, there's a song by Shania Twain. It starts, it looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with the song itself, I can't remember the title off the top of my head. Sorry. Again, comments, please. Shout out the name of the song. And um, definitely have some more resources for you next time. But anyway, that song would be wonderful to recite at a wedding because it's not something that the younger generations know as well. I'm in my late 40s. That was a very popular song when I was growing up. Um, but there's a lot of other artists out there. I've actually done quotes in weddings from bands like Five Finger Death Punch. I know you're probably laughing right now and going, what? However, it works. Um, for the right couple, that kind of stuff works, having quotes. I've also quoted books before. Um, I've quoted Mr. Rogers from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. That's a show that so many kids watched when they were little. And you can take things from your favorite books. Um, just pass it by the couple to see if it's something that they would like. Again, ask them lots of questions. What are their hobbies? What do they love to do together? If they are foodies, you can find wedding readings for foodies. Just Google the heck out of it. Um, and don't stop at that first page. Click through the next few pages and I bet you'll find some really great wedding readings instead of relying on just the first page or two of Google. Um, because you're going to find that those are going to be the ones you'll hear more. And it's nice if you can find something special for the two of them. Um, Captain Corelli's Mandolin is a beautiful romantic reading. The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson, another amazing one. Union from Robert Fulgham. But those are a little bit more popular. If you really want to dive in and pick a wedding reading that your couple is going to just be over the moon about, um, Dig it as personally as you can into your research. You can go to the library too, but let's be honest. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of young people out there that are reading at weddings or officiating as a friend or family member, or maybe you're a new officiant starting out. You may not have a lot of time to get this thing together and doing your research at home on the internet or using your iPhone or Android when you have a break at work, um, you can really pull up some great readings. If you need suggestions, feel free to reach out. I am happy to help you out. You can just um, comment below or go on our website, zerocelebrations.com and send me a message. I'd be happy to help you. Um, if you're looking for an officiant in the Hudson Valley area, you know who to shout out to now, don't you? Um, but I really don't mind at all helping. So if you do need some assistance, I would love to um, give you a little bit more advice. If you have questions, please post them in the comments and we'll throw another video up in the next couple of days.